Now Henry Jones and a pretty little queen took a ride one day in a swing limousine. The car kicked up and the engine wouldn't train. There wasn't any gas in the gasoline tank. On the night of Thursday, January 21st, 1999, three local teens broke into Haven Hill Lodge. They weren't the first to do this, of course. Uh, the state boarded up the lodge and pretty much abandoned it in 1980, and people have been breaking into it ever since. It was a cold night that night, sort of like it is out here tonight, and they lit a fire inside the lodge. Unfortunately, the fire got out of control. By the time the fire department was able to respond, by the time they got through two locked gates, up the tight, twisty hill, up here to the top of Haven Hill, the fire was completely out of control. We lost Haven Hill Lodge that night. Here's what's left. Welcome to the lodge. I'm standing in the front door. Originally, the lodge would have been covered in the same half cedar logs as we saw over at the carriage house, the same cedar shake roof. Come on inside, I'll show you around. We'll cut through the foyer here on the way over to the living room. This is the living room of the lodge. There would have originally been windows on both sides, all the way along both walls, and of course the huge Vermont stone fireplace at the end. This would have been a really comfortable place for the Ford family to spend time and relax with their guests. But for the real talk of science, philosophy, and exploration, I think we need to step outside onto the veranda. not really that romantic of a notion thinking about talks of science, philosophy, and exploration happening here on this veranda when you consider who was here. It wasn't just Henry and Ethel Ford. It was also inventor Thomas Edison, aviator Charles Lindbergh, explorer Admiral Byrd, writer Edgar Rice Burroughs, and plenty of others. Just imagine the discussions that would have been held here. Let's step back inside and we'll continue the tour. Just inside here, we have the formal dining room. We're in the dining room right now, and just off to your right here is the kitchen. Behind the kitchen is the servants' quarters. There's a full-time live-in cook as well as a full-time live-in butler. If you follow me, we'll cut back to the foyer and I'll show you the rest of the lodge. Coming up on your right here, we have a large open courtyard area. The courtyard allowed plenty of light to come in through these windows along the side of the hallway, as well as natural light into the kitchen and the master suite. On this side, we have two bedrooms. If this were built today, we'd probably have bedrooms on this side as well, but the Fords obviously valued their natural lighting. As we approach the end of the hallway here, off to your left, there are two more bedrooms. And on your right, we have the master suite. The master suite had a separate bedroom, master bathroom, and a separate sitting room. And of course, directly ahead of you is the newly added sunroom. <laughs> 